You know, if you ever played bodies, bodies, bodies in real life, who from the cast would you not trust and why? <laughs> that's so shady. <laughs> like we've got we've gotten asked versions of this question, but that's, that's definitely the, shady. the shadiest version <laughs> that we've received. I'm officially off the clock, so I'm gonna go get a drink now. We're gonna check in with Sierra, who I'm not sure which HU is the real HU. I got nothing to do with that. Uh, but Hampton University is also in the house. Sierra, what's your question? Thank you, Terrence, and we're definitely the standard of excellence. I'm excited for you. I know this is a throwback, but Alabaster Box, oh, that song <laughs> is just... Yes, it, we'll, be, we'll be singing that too. During the casting process, what were some of the key elements you were looking for when selecting actors or even crew members to be a part of your film? Um, hi, first of all, very nice to meet you. Um, so I can kind of talk about it specifically in terms of uh, the roles played by Regina and Zoe. For the role of Jasmine, one of the things that was, you know, really important to me was that uh, even just on the most practical level that uh, Jasmine, the performer playing Jasmine, truly felt close to the age of that character. Just be you. I always tell, when we go and talk with little kids, I tell them, the biggest flex that you have is that there is not one other you in the whole world. Just be you, you're enough, you are great, and the world needs what you have, or else there's been another you. I like it, there's only one you, that's, that's a that's word. It. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you know how we yeah. just talk, we ain't seen each other in a long time. Okay, moderate. God damn, do your job, I baby, do your job. I've heard you had a phenomenal singing voice, so I'm interested in finding out, have you put any thought into making music at one point in your career? Um, I'm always interested in making music, and I'm always working on that CD. It hasn't fruitioned yet, <laughs> but it's coming. Okay, I'll, yeah. I'll be on the lookout for it. That woman being a very intense and action-packed role, approximately how many hours did it take for you to train? And did you incorporate any new lifestyle changes to help with this transition? Hours, I have no idea, but lots of them. I trained for three months before we started shooting and then continued throughout the shoot. You wrapped up season two, so you know you gotta give us a little bit of updates, a little some some. Come on. Okay, what can I say? What can I say? All right, so boom. It, it picks up a little bit after, you know, the whole situation that just happened last time y'all watched that amazing show. Um, but you're just gonna be watching, you know, all the characters that you saw, you know, kind of dealing with that situation, dealing with the situation again. I mean, every female was truly stunning and breathtaking. So I would love to hear a little bit about your inspiration and how did you really create the costumes to reflect the women that were being depicted in the film? Well, first we had uh, Sherry Headley who plays Lisa and we took her out of Queens and brought her to Zamunda. And I was like, what kind of queen, what kind of queen is my girl from Queens gonna be? You got it. Thank you. You're beautiful. What a great interview. And I'm just excited about your future. I'm Sierra White Sparks reporting in Virginia Beach and I'm throwing it back to you guys at Coast Live. <laughs>